Hello, this is Ayman Zaza, ALM consultant and member of Middle East and Africa ALM community. <coughs> this video is part of Visual Studio 2012 ALM hands on lab provided by Microsoft. In this video, we will demo demonstrate code discovery using architecture tools in Visual Studio Ultimate 2012. In this lab, you will learn to generate and navigate dependency graph with Visual Studio Ultimate 2012 in order to get better understanding and communicate with system architecture. In order to complete this lab, you will need Visual Studio 2012 virtual machine provided by Microsoft. You can download it from this link. This hands-on lab includes the following exercises. Introduction to dependency graph generation, Introduction to Dependency Graph Navigation and Working with the Graph Nodes and Grouping. The first exercise is Introduction to Dependency Graph Generation. In this exercise, you will learn how to generate dependency graph that shows relationship between application assembly types, such as calls, inherits from, returns, and so on, as well as external assembly. Look into the virtual machine as Julia, Launch Visual Studio 2012 Ultimate Connect to Team Foundation Server and choose Telespin Toys Collection Open Source Control Explorer and from Telespin Toys choose Development Iteration 2 and double click in Telespin Toys SLN file Make sure the solution is building successfully. Right click build the solution. The quickest way to get started is generate an overall dependency graph for the entire solution. So from architecture, <coughs> generate dependency graph for the solution. The dependency graph is stored in direct graph markup language format DGML, which allows you to work with it in Visual Studio Ultimate 2012 as well as other standard tools. Note that generating dependency graph for all the projects in the solution may initially take a minute to complete when you generate dependency graph for the first time a code index is created for all dependencies that are found which helps to improve performance of subsequent operation at this point we only have a view of dependencies between assemblies that are part of the solution and external assemblies in gray lines of varying thicknesses represent the magnitude of relationship interdependencies between assemblies with thicker lines equating to more relationship each assembly node shown can be dynamically expand to show contained children which will we will explore during the next exercise you can also create dependency graph with narrower scope this will allow you to select only those type and members that you want to see First, Ctrl A and press Delete. Open Solution Explorer. Let's say we, we are interested in looking at dependencies and other relationship of a product class in the within Telespin model project. Select Telespin model, right click and select the scope to this and type a product and the press enter the 
This will quickly locate and highlight code that contains the search string product. Select the result of the search by clicking somewhere within search result and press Ctrl A. In the Solution Explorer toolbar, select Create a New Graph Document or <coughs> Add a New Dependency Graph or Add Active Dependency Add Added to Active Dependency Graph. This graph showing selected types and members. You can also drag and drop types from the sol Solution Explorer window. You, your graph may be look slightly different. <coughs> Another way to generate or add dependency graph is to use Architecture Explorer, which provides fine grain control over navigation and selection of types and members. From view, Select Architecture Explorer. This one. <coughs> Let's say that we want to see how product related types and methods from Telespin model project related to Telespin web project. In Architecture, select Architecture Explorer, select Class View to get all available namespaces. In the search box, Type web dot telespan dot web. And press enter to show just the namespaces are defined with telespan project. Select control A Okay now now you have all methods are defined in the Telespin web interface interface in all solution file. Single Control A, single click and hold. Before you drop a drag, before you drop, press Control, press Control key, and then finally drop the types into graph. This control modifier causes the parent container for the types to be added to the graph. The result of merging the new types with the existing graph result in, in a view that provides some insight how to the web application relates to the product related to the class from Telespain model project. This is the end of the exercise one. Now we learn how to generate the dependency graph for the entire solution or for a piece of information we need. In this exercise, introduction to dependency graph navigation, you will learn more about how to manipulate and navigate dependency graphs. Back to Visual Studio. Starting with the graph that we produced during the last exercise, zoom, zoom in and pan as necessary to get a good view of home controller class node. Zoom, zoom in using patterns on the graph toolbar or by simply by using mouse scroll wheel. Select Home Controller class node and hold the mouse cursor over relationship lines until you find one with the target node called I Product Repository. This one. Telespan Web Products. Get the product category. I product repository. Mm -hmm. 
The navigation control that appears when hovering over relationship line exposed to action that allow you to navigate to either the source or the target node I product repository I click the arrow that points away from home control class to navigate to I product repository to get better visibility use zoom to fit button you should now able to see that how home controller class is related to our product repository interface by calling get a product and get a product category you can also navigate from a graph directly to associated code right click to the home controller right click to the home controller node and select go to go to definition or press F12 here you can see exactly how methods defined by interface are being utilized in the code Let's now let's take a look and how we can navigate to a graph to determine how we are using external assemblies you can control a delete the existing graph or create a new dependency graph from architecture generate dependency graph for the solution expand external groups to expose the external assembly used by Telespin application zoom into and expand system to web DLL find and expand system to web routing Find and select the relationship line with the source node telespain web dll we could simply use the arrow buttons to navigate to the source node as we did before like this but this time let's create a new graph that just contain the relationship that we are currently inserted in okay which is relation between route table and telespain web dll to create the new graph shift click to the center button in the resulting graph we can see that <coughs> telespin.web upgrade in graph called good routes method actually the route table dot routes property this is the end of the exercise tool The last exercise is working with the graph nodes and grouping. In this exercise, you will learn how to reduce dependency graph complexity by removing unwanted nodes, adjusting the grouping of nodes, and modifying graph node property. If you are continuing from previous exercise, return to the original call span a view of dependency graph, right click. <coughs> and select a group collapse all otherwise regenerate the graph by selecting architecture generate dependency graph or the solution expand externals as you see here the thick gray relationship lines connected to the external group stops at the boundary of the group. The purpose of this is to reduce the visual complexity of dependency graph. 
If you remove the external grouping, you will be able to see all direct relationship lines between external and internal assemblies, as well as more detail between assemblies currently grouped within externals. <coughs> Select MS Core, lab the DLL, assembly node, and press delete to remove it from a graph. The relation behind removing this node, as well as many other common only used external assemblies and types, might be it adds too much noise to the graph and make it make it difficult to navigate efficiently. Delete system.dll as well. <coughs> Select external <coughs> the external group, right click from a group, remove a group. This will remove the grouping, but not the graph nodes contained within. To get better idea how how we deploy the application, we will delete the telespin.test.model DLL since it's for testing. Although removal of the external groups give us better idea of what is going on, it makes it difficult to distinguish between the application assemblies and those we are previously grouped and external as the external. This can be fixed by adding node property to give external assemblies a different color. I click the plus button on the legend panel and select node property is external is the is uh, is external node is added to the legend panel left click on the gray box and select background to load the color set picker window select the true and Select true drop down pick and choose any color you want. Let's say we are the, the red color. I would this red color and the press OK button. As you as you see now we can distinguish between the external and internal assemblies and this, this gives us better visibility. Okay to the solution dependencies between internal and external. This is the end of the exercise 3. This is the end of our lab. We learn how to generate a new graphs, a bent existing graph and generate customized graph based on our needs and navigate dependency graphs with Visual Studio Alma 2012 and get better understanding how system architecture works. Thank you.